hi guys uh, welcome back to my channel uh, this is veera shankara let's talk about today uh, the differences between the rust template web client and uh, rust client so most of the people are aware uh, what is a rust template and what is a web client and uh, there is a new feature which is added uh, the rust client uh, in the spring boot to 3.x version so that is a basically Sp spring boot 3.2 zero so this is the new feature that we'll talk about uh, in a while so first uh, bef uh, before that let's talk about the differences between the rust template and the web client so basically the rust template uh, if you want to make any synchronous calls so uh, let's say i have an api i want to just to make an api call and get the response then we can use the rust template it could be uh, rust template dot get for object or get for uh, entity or it could be any exchange uh, operation so where we can get the response of the another API. Whereas uh, the web client, uh, let's say if you want to make any synchronous or asynchronous uh, API calls, we can use the uh, web client again uh, with the web client. So either uh, we get the response as a mono or a flex object, either we have to block or uh, the client has to uh, subscribe in order to get the API response. Uh, whereas the REST client, uh, basically, uh, if you want to get the uh, response so, so we just need uh, the uh, you know uh, only one dependency that is the spring boot starter web dependency we'll talk about in the next slide so in detail uh, all of uh, all three uh, rest template web client and the rest client so now uh, if you see here uh, uh, for the rest template we just add the dependency as the spring boot starter web and uh, uh, we just write a rest template uh, bean or an object and uh, get the response uh, by making a get for object or get for entity or any other uh, call so now if you uh, see for the web client uh, let's say we are writing a spring boot uh, application and since the rest template is going to be deprecated soon so assume that i wanted to use a web client uh, make sure we are not going to uh, you know make any future uh, migrations uh, you know you know if you want to avoid the rest template what we do is uh, we just add a web flex dependency even though we are not writing any uh, synchronous programming uh, using mon or flex so we you know just for uh, making any ap call uh, you know we just need to add this dependency and write a web client uh, object and then get the api response so the api response is going to be either mono or flex object so uh, this is the additional dependency that we need to add whereas the rest client so if you see the rest client which is introduced in the spring boot 3.2 uh, we just need to add a web dependency we no need to have any web flex dependency uh, to write uh, the uh, rest client a rest client is a basically it is going to be uh, any kind of a synchronous but the way that we write uh, the code, it's uh, similar to the web client. For example, in the if you see in the previous slide, uh, for the web client, so we just write a web client dot get and then URI, and then we we retrieve the response and we convert the response into into body to mono object. So whereas uh, the REST client, so the same fashion, so we write the code and get the API response. So here also we write the same thing. Uh, rest client dot get dot uri and then uh, retrieve and then convert the response into the into the response entity object once we have the response entity we can just write the response entity dot uh, uh, you know uh, body so that uh, we get the response so this is very simple and the only difference between uh, the rest client and other two rest template and web client a rest client is similar to the uh, web client the only difference is going to be uh, we no need to have additional dependencies spring web flex to be added for uh, in order to use the rest client so we can just add the spring boot starter web dependency and just make a call using the rest client so that's all guys thank you uh, so much for watching this video please do subscribe and like and share